Yo, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy, BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today we are raiding Server 5 to watch their Level 3 pass rallies. So I'm pretty excited about this, also because the fog finally got cleared from them finishing Light Bear Chapter and Augur Stone. So we are in for some fun, right? There's a couple rallies that I still have to actually go through and mark some of these off so we can see exactly who's going to be where. Um, again, I know that we have another one we really want to look out for, I think is BDL. And I have to find out where they are here. Here we go. Cool. So... Uh, and I think because does I think does the number one player here is supposed to be running a rally. Dang, yo, the horde is active. As always, right before we get started, make sure if you enjoy the content, you sub, like, ring the notification bell. And of course, if you want to join and be a part of our conversation, hit up the Discord. You can find a link to that in the pinned comment description right down below. Man, BDL is coming out in flocks right now. So let's go through and start up everything like we usually do, right? So we can, of course, show some love to everyone. So we got... Uh, BDL, L3, pass, we'll just do that. Um, theirs hasn't hit yet, so we're good, right? Dang, you can just see this, man. So many people. Theirs does right there. I'm sure the rally's going to be coming in a moment. Um, but I think he told me he's going to be trying Hosk Nico. So they're most likely going to be running uh, DPS for Physical Archer. That's something that we saw pretty effective on the level 3 pass rallies for SS1 uh, when they ended up running theirs right the first merge kingdom from uh, from kingdoms uh, K through, uh, sorry, 1, K1 through 4. Uh, and then we have, oh wait, oh, so it's BDL and then BLD. Let's see if they have anyone here, if they're going to be attempting. Okay, cool. So it looks like BLD is going to be attempting. They got some people here, so let's mark this up, this bad boy. Here we go. So to say BLD, L3 pass. I could probably just say L3. Probably, I mean, it's, you know, I, 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 probably, probably, I probably could just say the names. I, don't, I honestly don't even need to type that much because we know. Uh, then let me see what do we got over here. Oh, yeah, there's nothing on the north side. So how about here on the south, right? So that was, and then we got Hawk. So let's see, is Hawk, are they going for one or the other? Okay. Okay, so it looks like they're probably they're probably gonna go for this. Hawks got some people, and then we'll show you guys some rankings too as well. So I, I'm just gonna do this just to keep it simple because we know what it is. I'm just gonna title this. So again, man, good showing, good showing. Uh, I mean, the thing is, hopefully they're not trying to double up or like attack two at once. There's just no point for that. Okay, good, they're not. So they're they're predominantly focusing on one. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> okay, uh, now let's go west. What's happening over here on the west side? So on the west side, so we got Zods, and they have two. Okay, so let's see which one they're going for first. They're going to go north? Oh, they are. Okay, wow. Okay, so they are going to go north. All right, dude. Zods. Oh, man. Nice showing, man. Nice showing. Okay. So let's pin this for Zods. We'll go Z-O-D-S. Bam. Cool. All right. Uh, passes haven't started yet. They just became available, so we'll see who's hit. So Zod has not started theirs. Let's just go check their southern. I'm sure they'll probably do the southern after. Yeah, so no one's there. Cool. So we're pretty good. So now we got everything started that we need. Um, right? We can do BDL. That'll take us right here. Let's see if the rally... So rally hasn't started yet. Uh, so we got a little bit of time. Cool. So... Now that we have a little bit of time, something I'm going to do here is I want to pull up the level 3 pass rallies because I want to find out real quick. And let's see here. So, all right, boys and girls, we are recording, recording. I have level 3 passes start and looking forward to some rallies um would love to see reports after please all right cool 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 so it should be pretty good right we just gotta wait a little bit of time here and then we'll be good to go so while we're waiting though uh for someone's rally to start i don't think we've seen does going oh yeah sorry let me show you guys some stats right from uh, kingdom five and let's see what I got. Here we go. 
Uh, so we can see Dez right now, right? Strongest player in the games. Or sorry, player in, in his kingdom. Uh, so he'll be most likely doing their rally. I'm assuming uh, Van the Great will be doing theirs for Zods. And then maybe Baron or the other Hawk player will be doing theirs. Uh, let me see in the BDL. Who's the next one here? So that's three alliances. And then I don't know who BLD is, right? Because really the majority of the top players are kind of, looks like, in those three alliances. Hmm. Let's see what else we got when we see another one. I mean, at least they've consolidated, <laughs> you know, on on that front. While well, top 50 players are consolidated into three alliances. Okay. Hmm. Top 70 players are consolidated. BD, 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 Zons, BD, 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 Zons, BD, BD. Uh, there we go. So Asteria is the first player outside of one of the top three alliances. So, I mean, I guess they'll be doing theirs, or maybe BDL will just go and grab another one, unless, oh, unless maybe they'll change, I mean, unless they change alliances, maybe, and they'll do something there. Anyways, that just kind of shows you that. Let's look at alliance power. So, alliance power, we got BDL at 803, Zod 724, Hawk 508. I'm um, then be all right, kind of rounding out, you know, the, you know, high active top four, even in the number four alliance, they're 124 to 47. If you look at the fifth, it's probably a little lower, 119, 134. So, yeah, you know, again, solid four alliances, though, I would say. You know, probably more hyper-focused on three. Okay, so here we go, man. So we got, we got, uh, bum, bum, bum. Cool. So here's Duz doing his rally, right? So, again, running Hosk. Uh, Nico, looks like Hosk is the primary here. So he's going to be taking not the additional normal attack damage, uh, but I believe it's the health that he's going for. Let's see. This is why I have to have a... Oh, no, I don't want to open up my second instance. Because if I do, then we might get some lag. But we can look at Hosk here, right? Just to kind of give you an idea. And if I... Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot this kind of have, like, no one. <laughs> so I think it's third skill that we're looking at for the... Op, right, so he's going increased Legion Defense, right? So opted. All right, we've seen some people on Hosk Secondary. However... He's opting for Hosk Primary, which means he's going to get the increased defense lesion. Normal attack damage would only be at the increased 15%, right? Max 40%. So he's going for 25% uh, defense bonus instead of the 40% normal attack damage bonus, right? By running Hosk Primary. So we're going to have to see how this goes. Now remember, right? There's eight, I think, I believe there's 800k T4 in, in the pass. And I'm actually going to find my video where we saw them doing the rallies. Big Zone 2, let's see here. Yeah, because I know we did a really good one where we showed everything off. I just want to see if I can go through it. Uh, zone 2, it's got to be a little after here. Oh, man, wow. Was it just... Hmm... Maybe it was the zone two passes. That's oh, that see, that's what it was. It wasn't level three, or sorry, it wasn't level uh, three. It was level two passes. That's what it was for SS one. Yeah, it was level two pass rallies, and those ones had eight hundred k. I think it was T four. Yeah, I'm just rewatching this right now. Uh, so this is gonna be interesting, right? I mean, uh, rallies have about half right now. Yeah, no, passes no, about no, is about a so quarter, maybe you know, quarter fifth ish. And yeah, so let's so let's see. Okay, so we see how that one's going, right? Haas, I, I believe it's Haas Nico. Let me double check, right? I, we probably saw it. I just missed it because I was looking at my other screen. So Haas Nico, let's look at how some of the other ones are doing so far. So we got uh, let's look at Zod. So Zod, they have not started their pass rally yet. Okay, let's look at Hawk. Okay, so Hawk has started theirs. Uh, so it does look like the number five player, is that who's running theirs? Number four, right? So not Baron, but the 15.8 mil player is running the rally. Uh, I think I saw Lilia Waldeer there. Um, I wonder if anyone has scouted the passes too as well. Let me see here. Mm, cool, 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 cool. Uh, has anyone scouted the level three pass? Um, and would mind sharing with a friend here. All right, let's go. Has anyone scouted? <laughs> right, because I, I just want to see what they're running. So, uh, running, opting for mage here uh, and going very far range, but essentially just mage physical damage. And 
Let's see what we got. Bump, bump. I was like, bump, 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 bump. Cool. All right. So Lilia running here for Hawk. I mean, again, this might be a little bit harder. We got the C man on the replenish here. Let's go back. I don't think BLD is running anything, and then we'll go back to. Oh, they are. So they are trying, and they're running Lilia. This is Mitra. Ooh, I wonder if this is the Mitra I know from Rock. Uh, so running Lilia Waldir again. They're at about a fifth, maybe a little more than a sixth. Okay, now let's go back to BDL. Let's, let's see. Let's see how they're doing. Okay, so still getting. They're almost halfway. Almost halfway. Yes, my boy, <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Thanks, son. <laughs> Thanks. Son. Um, two mil. Okay, so it is two mil. Is that is that what it, is that what it is? Ah, so it is two million T four, which I guess makes sense because the level two pass had eight hundred K T four on SS one. Or, no, was maybe it was T5. I have to, I'm, I'm going to look through the video because I have it up right now. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to check. Oh, no, you know what? I can check on some of the late rally reports that we were sent. Let's see here. What do I got? Is it? Hang on. Let me mute this real quick. I just want to see if that's right. Yeah. So we're going to have to see how many troops they had. Yeah, I don't know if I saw a scout report, but I thought someone told me it was 800k. Anyways, with that in mind, uh, so we got 100k, what is that? Infantry, sorry, knights, knights infantry. So you got knights infantry here, and we have one that's opting for archer run. Now, something that's important, oh, I don't even have the buildings up on this account, right, to show you what the... Uh, so, oh, no, you know what? Hang on, I can show it to you here. I got it, I got it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Hang on, I got to show I have the... Because, uh, again, I like to show this off so you understand you, the unit advantage system, which is... I think I have a screenshot that I took here. It's probably a while ago, though. Yeah. Okay, so let me... Let me skadoosh this over, right? So, uh, I'm just going to open this up right so if you see this as an example right you can see that we have unit advantage system right so you have mage is for shieldman shieldman for uh cav and then cav over archers so when you're and then archers over mage so when you're looking at the adva uh, unit advantage system you essentially would want to run in my opinion you'd want to run mage or infantry why? Because then you're at least getting an advantage on half of the units that are in the level 3 pass. This is not to say that you still cannot do it with another type, but if you're purely going off advantages, then that's something that will be a little bit more beneficial to you in the long run, right? <clears throat> um, now again, with Does being you know as strong as he is, right? I mean, again, power can at times overwhelm right regardless because they're running archers right so cav is strong against archers in this case so there he's really only getting a 50 50 or a, or a break even on the in on the infantry right so the one mil infantry but he's still getting the disadvantage on the cav versus the archers there but again sometimes if you're just that strong and you have enough troops to replenish right even if you're kind of fighting a slight uphill battle right you still can overcome we've seen this happen before uh, but again, doing doing some nice work here so far on the level three pass, and they obviously have plenty of people. I like how they're just throwing like some random, some additional hits just <laughs> just on the side. <laughs> uh, but again, yeah, man, dude, they have a lot, a lot, a lot of people here. That is for sure, dude. They basically have a watch party. <laughs> That's going on, man. Just wild. That's pretty cool. I am not gonna lie. Uh. And, and, and I mean, again, they're doing they're doing pretty good so far, right? You can see, uh, right, some of the consistent damage right around 1.4, 1.5 k. Probably got a uh, oh, there we go. I think that was the defense break that was giving them the additional 1.92 k damage that you were seeing there. Uh, then you got the repost, the onslaught going in. Now you're seeing a little bit more. But again, look at the damage they're being dealt. Right, they're being dealt 4.7. Right, you just said 3.9, 3.8. Right versus two point two, 
4.6, 4.6. So, right, it'd be curious to see what, right, so they're, they're taking more damage than they're dealing. Now, now this is kind of twofold, right? I, I Part of it is because they're running mage, or sorry, archers, right? Now, again, that doesn't mean everyone in, in, the, in the rally is running archers, right? Some people might be running mage, for example, uh, and those ones, when they do their hits, they might see some more. They might see smaller favorable trades when we take a look at the report afterwards. However, right, you can you can see, and then part of it could just be that you know sometimes it's one of those things where you know is everyone really strong enough to take a level three pass rally right to do damage to it, or are you attacking it when you're uh, in you know kind of in front of the curve right, or you know maybe you're a little bit too. Uh, young, if you will, kind of average power level isn't strong enough. And sometimes when those situations arise, you just wait, right? You wait a week or two, you let everyone keep developing, and then you hit the pass, while, right, where you most likely will take lesser deaths, right, and better trades. However, this looks like they're going to get this no problem, right, from what you can see. They obviously have plenty of people online, they're replenishing well. Let's look at Zod and see if they're doing there. So they are. Oh, cool. So we got who's running their rally? Okay, so it looks like Van the Great's running theirs. He's running. Hosk, let's see, maybe this could be a Haas Nico Archer. He's running Hosk Emrys. Interesting. And but if he's running Hosk Emrys, then he's gotta be running Cav. If that's the case. Cav is okay, but again, right, when you're when you're looking at it, Cav still has the unit disadvantage against infantry, right? So a mil, a million of the infantry will be. And you can see here on damage, right? Average damage 1.2, 1.1. All uh, right, and they're taking a little bit more damage. Five, four, four, five, six. Right, so you can see when you're comparing the two rallies, you can see, uh, you can notice that with uh, Duz's rally, right, they're doing a couple, just a couple hundred more, right, one point, like one point four, one point five k on average uh, that they were doing, and then obviously once those defense breaks and buffs come in, and and they're taking a little bit less damage than Zod's rally is doesn't mean that they still might not get it again if you have enough troops and you can keep it up i'm sure you can make some dents uh let's look at hawk so it looks like their rally didn't work so we're gonna have to see if they attempt again uh because we can see it's off now so let's go back to bdl they got to be close to getting this yeah and does is still yellow as long as they can keep the pace up and but now look right look at the low so now they're only dealing six seven hundred nine hundred damage uh they're getting like still 3.8 delts on them so uh, i mean again it looks like it's gonna happen we'll have to see how this one plays out i mean the damage is lowering right now by about five to six hundred on average uh, at least uh, at the minimum level but again still looking good so i'm, I'm, I'm sure i'm sure they'll get this Right, as long as they have enough replenishment um, and enough consistency, it looks like they. Might, I wonder if they're going to have a few other people just like throw some random hits at it. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's see. It's good stuff, man. It is good stuff here. Uh, let's think. Okay. Hey. real quick <laughs> all right let's see man so still pretty good right so what we got let me see nine six still three point okay so still about same damage right for output and what they're taking again close to finishing let's go see if we can take a, a look again here at zods and then we'll go back let's see if this has changed so okay wow so they actually have this at, at half now so this is good right and they're still at about half a little more than half on the replenish Still around that one point, right? One, one point two. Okay, a couple one point threes that we're seeing. They're taking what 44, 45 is the average. Uh, at least you know until you see a buff or debuff. Uh, okay, yeah. So look, look. I mean, even a couple one point four, one point five k's that they're dealing. So I mean, they're on pace to get this, right? Let's go back to BDL. Again, they got to be in close. Yeah, I mean, I I have no doubt at this point. It looks like they're going to get this. So. Uh, but it, it still goes back to what I was saying right before, which is that, right, how much easier would it have been if, you know, they would have ran infantry or if you would have ran mage uh, on this uh, predominantly just to see. Now, if you have some mage uh, units that are in there, right, then you might see, in, well, like a, and I mentioned this before, we'll take a look at the reports, right, because you basically have like an average attack every second. But then when you look at the breakdown of that, you can see the amount of damage each person did. 
Um, and so that's something that you can look at and kind of, you know, extrapolate and look at that on the per second turns or each turn to see what that average damage is based on what they did. And are those players, you know, maybe seeing a little bit more damage than someone else who's not running a, a mage or infantry unit, right? So if they're running cav or archers in those cases. But yeah, man, it's looking good. It's looking good. Any any sec now. And then we'll go watch Zod's too as well. Nice, dude. BDL got the W. Got the W, man. Sweet. Sweet. They're like, we're flooding. Build that. Build that flag. <laughs> build that flag. Build it. <laughs> All right, let's go look at Zod's, man. GG's there to BDL. Uh, Zod, Zod's still looking pretty good, right? They're almost at, they're almost at a third. A third left HP. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so let's see if we can get, I don't know if anyone sent me a report yet. Let's take a look, man. Let us take a look. Typical. Typical. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, can anyone from BDS uh, be kind enough to send me... Uh, oh, hang on. You know what? Hang on. Maybe I just got it. Oh, it's BDL. Oh, Aqua, hit me up. Hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, would you be kind enough to send me... Oh, man, already did. <laughs> hey, that's my man. Appreciate cool awesome so here's the bdl uh here's the bdl report from aqua thank you aqua appreciate you broski uh <clears throat> let's take a look here so does running 56 hoss 56 nico we got 943 severely wounded 197 lightly wounded remaining 610 cool 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 awesome let's see if we can find out what was in the past so man almost a mil unit so much replenishing too as well on that 12 minute oh that's one minute rally that was insane in the membrane okay so let's look at some legion buffs first and let's take a look and see really where the the advantage was here for them so okay got it so basically he was just playing to the strength of the marksman unit attack having more damage overall and being the, being on the plus for them okay all right that makes sense uh, now, I want to point this out, right? Not a full, this isn't a full maxed out Legion either, right? Haas still has one, two, or it still has three uh, more skill points to go. So he wasn't getting max damage. He wasn't getting the max defense reduction. Uh, and, and he wasn't on top of that getting the extra 9% defense bonus, which I'm sure that would have helped. Same thing on Nico's end. Uh, right, with the exception of skill two for that, but skill three, right, all marksman units in Eagles Legion gain the attack, right, so he missed out on at least two more points there, he could have got 6% more on physical attack, and then 4% more on defense, so I'm sure that would have helped overall, uh, based on what we saw, I don't want to spend too much time, because I do want to make sure we get the Zod, so they still have a minute to go here, so I think we're okay, uh, let's go back, and let's take a look now. See if we can do a little bit of a breakdown. I'm curious on what some of the damage was. Let's see who they had in the rally. So, Spillman, we got Ballistas. So, Archer, Archer, Archer. And that's just a good note. Spearmen and Ballistas are Archers. And then Archers are... Right, so you have Spearmen for... Oh, gosh, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting names now, right? Archers are Spring Warden. Um, Wilderberg is Spearman, and then League of Order is Ballistas, right? But they're basically all the Archer uh, physical damage category. So as long as we see those in here, right, I think that's fine. And I also think it's a nice thing to... This Nid, uh, Nidhogg person, I wonder if that's the person I know from Rock. Uh, and so, but this is the important thing, right, is are we seeing those units that are here? So this person sent Trance... Right, and, and I probably would have told people, right, try and send like T3 and above. I think that would have been the ideal situation. Uh, it, looks like, it looks like mostly everyone really understood the assignment as far as what to send. Uh, let's see, Archer Spearman, Spearman Ballistas, Ballistas. Yeah, man, I mean, again, right, pretty, pretty dedicated from what we can see here. 
Ballistas, ballistas. Yeah, man. It's looking, it's looking good. It's looking, yeah, I mean, well, well those iron barks. I mean, again, it's not the end of the world. It's just, you know, if you're trying to play into the rally itself. So, yeah, I think, I think pretty good. Let's go see where they're at. So, Van, yeah, again, they're most likely going to get this no problem. They, they, they have plenty. Okay, so let's go back now. Let's look at some of the damage that we saw on the rally uh, being ran. So, we have... The legions, and I'm just curious, did he have, does he have any T5? Oh, doesn't yet. Okay, so, uh, which I guess is probably still a little bit early. Okay, let's look at some battle logs. So, this is you, right? We had plus 16, legion defense, plus 14 marksman unit attack, uh, unit defense, and then damage down 3%. So uh, as we look at each turn, right? So this is what you can see here from everyone, right? This shows you total units, level of each of uh, the heroes, right? So BDLs. And it actually almost looks like it's factoring in the primary here, which is interesting, uh, right? Based on what we're seeing on the breakdown. Hmm. Does it show enemy forces? It doesn't. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. So you can see here, right, average damage right around 1.7 at peak, them taking about 14.8K. However, if we do a breakdown, what we can see here is the uh, average losses and attacks, right? So this is where they launch the normal attack on their allies. Um, oh, sorry, and their allies. So the uh, opposing side lost 849 troops. When they attacked, uh, does rally lost 2,435 troops. And this is where you can now see those that are running different sets so uh an example here if you're looking hoss side right so you have oh wait hang on hang on hang on we have to look at um where is it where is it where is it where is it yeah hoss side no, 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 i don't want to look at that i want to look at this one hoss side let's normal attack oh that was from the counter attack so oh i see i see i see how they broke that down okay so that was the amount they lost and then we're looking at counter, so then we should be seeing this hopefully on this one. Um, we see ha uh, launched counter attack hostile twenty four. Um, we see hostile lost twenty four. Oh, I see. So it's only the losses. I thought we'd see the amount of damage they were doing too as well, but it only shows one. Okay, um, but we can still see here, right? For some now, the only thing we'd have to know is one, right? Which unit types are they specifically running? I think a lot of the Guan ones are probably similar. Most likely, just depends on what the tier troop is that they're running. But this is pretty close. I mean, for some of the Guan ones, you're seeing 127, 135, 138. Um, I mean, these are all pretty consistent. I would imagine some of the higher ones here, around the 160 ones and the 155s, are most likely from just a higher tier troop. Um, again, we'd have to ask specifically what factors into that, though, because that obviously would be nice to know, <laughs> just overall. Uh, okay, so Van's going good. Uh, again, man, I mean, again, nice to see, nice to see, you know, the rally and obviously what they went into. Oh, my God, first shot coming out. All right, big stretch. Oh, get it. Oh, get it, get it. Okay, sick. I'm going to be honest, I felt really, I felt really good. Okay. So yeah, man, getting getting closer here to finishing off this pa uh, this level three pass, and let's see if if we can real quick we can maybe come back. Let's see if Hawk is trying another rally again. Oh, they are interesting. So they decided to go ca run Bakshi Emrys for Cav on this this time. Okay, I don't know how far they got last time I mean, they're doing about a thousand damage taking almost 6k that's a lot that just means you have to have so many more people online i mean if they get a few more replenishments here i mean, I mean it could be close right it actually doesn't look bad all right still edging its way down here on the level three pass for zod getting getting closer All right, let's see one more. What do we have here? So they took, they lost 607k power, 197k on the severely wounded, lightly wounded, running 610. Okay. All right, all right. So let's see, once this one finally goes down, maybe we can do a little comparison. 
And then we can take a gander, if you guys know what I mean. A gander. And see what is crack a lacking. All right. Was it 472, 540? Getting close. A few more. Oh, geez. You see that big, like, negative 12.4K swipe? Uh, that was pretty big. Negative 2K for skill. Yeah, man. They, they are getting close. 451, 440. It is. They are so close. They are there. Let us see what shall happen. Yeah, man. Let me get some more agua here so we can get some cheering in a moment. Oh, there's Theron. Ah, I wish I know Theron. Name sounds familiar. Let's see. All right. Yes. Here we go. They are there. You can do it onto the breach. Nice. There we go. Zod on the level. Got to give those clappers, man. Level three pass. Killing it. Sweet. Nice, man. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, sweet. Thank you, sir. Man, appreciate Spracken shooting your boy with that level three pass rally. I love how these people be on it, man. Just the support. Dang. That's a lot. This seems to be a lot more than, uh, than what we saw from just based on how dense that is on the pluses and the losses there for Zod. Uh, so they had 883, right? So about 100K less. Uh, they took negative 980K compared to the 607, I think that we saw there from BDL. Severely wounded, we had 328, I think it was compared to 197. Uh, remaining though is still pretty close. Uh, and that could just be because of the uh, amount of replenish, which would be nice if it did specifically show that. So let's start off by looking at some buffs and take a look at where they went. So if we're looking at Rally here, so they had a 50 Haas, 60 Emrys. Again, same kind of situation, not fully maxed out, right? So Emrys had one more point to go, which, I mean, 5 more percent range accumulation still could have helped. Uh, and then Hosk, similar deal, right? So they just didn't have the max. So they missed out on 2K more cap, which, eh, I mean, not the end of the world. And then this was actually the same. So they were at three here on this. And then uh, Dreamful Peace is, is two less. So they're missing out on 4% there from the defense reduction uh, when comparing. Okay. So again, not, I mean, it's still close, still close. So let's see if. If Cav, so Cav, so they had a 110%, almost a 111%. And I think if we remember the BDL buff, it was a little bit less than plus 10% on the Marksman unit. I think it was like 107 or something. Let me double check this real quick. So I think it was Aqua who sent, and let me do this so I have does at the top. Uh, what do I have here? Hang on, hang on, hang on. So let's let's look. I'm just curious because now now I am wondering. So buff was oh so see I okay I was right. So it's 107.4 versus 110.9. So you look at 3.5 percent more of a bonus going calf for them. So maybe it made more sense for Zods to go that direction running cab because they're playing to the rally lead strengths. Uh, in that case, all right, man, makes sense. You 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 sold me. Uh, so now let's look here. Wow, so we were running Forest Eagles here. So he ran, uh, I'm so curious. So Van ran Flying, which I, in, instead of, right, because with, with Forest Eagles, if he goes for Spring Warden, you should have the, it's like the near, you have like near ranged, it's like ranged calf for them. Uh, others are running Wolf Riders, 
Oh, geez. Don't know why we ran swordsmen here. I mean, well, I guess it depends. We'd have to look at what Ray Ray's trades were, how many units were lost compared to maybe someone else's. Ooh, that's something that we can maybe do a deeper dive in a later video. But my thought would be running all cav. This is, these are some of those questions we have to ask uh, the COD CS or devs to give us some answers specifically on, you know, some of the multi-factors that go into joining rallies. But still, okay. So, knights. So, man, some people running vessels. So not everyone was running cav here. I mean, really more of a mixed rally that you're seeing. Uh, and I wonder if it, if, it, if it just came down to people just saying, just send your best one. Uh, right? I mean, yeah, because, I mean, this, this is, I mean, it is decently mixed. Uh, and, you know, usually when you're seeing a rally, you know, you want to try and see, you know, some forms of higher level coordination where everyone is joining with the same type, right? And that's something that you're communicating beforehand so everyone can be a part of that. Uh, and then obviously help factor into the rally, right, by running a specific type, usually because you have certain advantages. Uh, in this case, don't get me wrong, right? I still think the people who are running swordsmen and those who are running mages, right, I would argue are probably seeing some better trades than if you're running uh, archers or, or cav, right? In this case, obviously, we'd have to do a deep dive comparing similar tier troops to similar tier troops, and then we'd have to go and look at what those deaths were, right? So if they had more deaths, that was because of the unit advantage system. Less deaths per individual player, right, could indicate that they had less of, that, that, that uh, their advantage was factoring into that. So those are just things we'd have to look at. But knights, so some knights, and riders, ballistas for archers, mages, spearmen. Yeah, so I mean, a bit, a bit of a mixed bag here a bit. Okay. Uh, let's look at, uh, let's look at battle log. We're going to look at buffs. So let's take a look. So here's some advantages, right? They have Legion attack, 1.5%, Legion defense, 1.5%, Legion march speed, Cav unit attack, 30. See that? See, that's good. And then damage dealt, plus 10. So it almost feels like the bonuses here for Zod was a little bit more than the bonuses we saw for BDL. Uh, let's take a look, though. Here. So we're seeing... Okay. So we're seeing about 1.5, 2.1... 5.5, so still taking. Right, 4.4. Got to replenish here. Uh, okay, yeah, that was a skill damage hit. Two, four, so 2.1.8, 1.5. Yeah, it's kind of the, and then 5.4. Okay, let's let, let's look at what some of the let's look at what some of the breakdowns are for first two, a couple turns here. So you said lost 77, 772 units using your piece while attacking. Uh, Legion Defense, uh, we didn't take effect till the next turn, so we launched a counterattack. Hossad lost 2,793 units. Captain launched normal attack on Hosk and their allies. Hossad lost. Yeah. So Hosk counterattack. Uh, and then Dark Infantry 789. Allies, 1,004. So this is, yeah, this is where we'd have to, like, really look at the breakdown for... Oh, let's see here. Van, he lost 183 for his. 165. Now, Alistar lo lost the least, right? So maybe we can start there. So he lost the least amount of units at 62. Or, sorry, not Alistar, but uh, Michael. So Zod's Michael lost 62... The person who lost the most was Spraken. So, Michael. Now, let's go take a look. What was he running? Right? I wonder if we can make some type of correlation here. So, let's look. Where's Michael? And then we can look at Spraken. Okay. So, Michael ran... Trends. He ran trends. And then Spraken. Did we pass Spraken? Let's see. I bet you he was up top, huh? I bet you he was up top. I went too far, huh? Did like, yeah, bro, you went too far. <laughs> okay, here we go. Spraken ran knights. So he ran knights, which has 
a unit advantage, a disadvantage against infantry, and and he lost the most. And his tiers are pretty spread out. Okay. So yeah, I guess I guess that somewhat makes sense. Hmm. Like a Spraken would be. But wouldn't Trent's be Arch? No. No, 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 it's the other ones. Um, and they wouldn't be because Satyrs. No. Interesting. Okay. I feel like I'm getting some of my units mixed up there. But all right. Well, that was pretty cool, uh, in my opinion, to be able to watch those uh, two rallies there on the level three passes from zods and bdl i also want to give a huge shout out uh to does for hitting me up and letting me know ahead of time that uh, they were going to be running some from what i'm also hearing there's going to be some pvp and fighting in zone three between zods and bdl so that is something that i assume we're going to be able to look forward to so now that we have fog uncovered here in uh, excuse me, in zone three, right? I'm going to be keeping up to date with uh, the players here and the alliances that are in zone three. So whenever, if we end up getting some fighting later today, if we get something tomorrow, right, I'll be sure to try and do my best to cover this and show you guys as much as we can from any of the S5 fighting in zone three, right? Especially because the alliances are pretty close in power. So I imagine, you know, we'll probably get some good consistent fights, especially after they kind of connect flags at the halfway point. So yeah, uh, again, if you're in this kingdom, right, you can always feel free just to ping me on, on Discord. Uh, you can join the server. Uh, there's a dedicated channel there. You can ping me anytime action's happening. You know, just be sure to let me know chords um, in the kingdom that it's in so that way I can do my best. And obviously, as long as Lightbearer has been achieved from the Augerstone chapter and I can see everything because fog is cleared, then that's a win for me. With that in mind, that's it, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This was an awesome showing from both alliances. Happy I could get on to record. And yeah, man, that is it for me. So as always, until next time, I will catch you later.